In this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about the Glass TR Easy Fit main display tempered glass as well as the rear camera optic tempered glass. I'm going to be putting these two screen protectors to the test. Not only will I be doing the installation to see how well they fit, how well they work with the in-display fingerprint sensor, but you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video because I will be doing a drop and a scratch test to see how durable the screen protector really is. And by the end of this video, you'll know which one of these screen protectors are right for you. And if you guys do want to pick these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. So let's get started. So first we're going to start off with the installation of the rear camera protector. This is the Glass TR Easy Fit Optic. So we get two rear camera protectors, a removal tool, and an installation packet. So the first thing we need to do is to wipe off our camera with the included uh, dry wipe cloth. Then we'll take one of our screen protectors, making sure that you have it in this orientation. It's kind of curved at the top here, just like your phone. It also says top, and that's going to go towards the, the top part of your phone. We're going to peel off the number one on the back here. Again, make sure it's in this orientation. Then we'll press it down over the top of our cameras. Slide your finger across the middle, just like this and then hold down on the guide and remove the sticker here. Then lift up on the guide and you're all set. Check for any bubbles. It looks like it's perfectly positioned. And you really can't even tell that there's a tempered glass screen protector on your phone. That is pretty nice. Feels pretty smooth. See about fingerprints. Does seem to do a pretty good job at rejecting fingerprints as well. And just give that a quick wipe down and then we'll test out the camera. All right, so here is the rear camera. Everything looks to be really clear. I don't see any issues. It looks nice and clean. Yeah, nice and clear. All right, so that looks pretty good. So it doesn't cover the whole camera bump. It only covers the portion that's kind of the glass that's over the lenses. Not too bad. So it should be pretty much compatible with any case that you're gonna put on your phone. All right, so now let's move on to the front tempered glass. So now that the rear camera is done, let's move on to the front glass with the Glass TR Easy Fit. So we get two tempered glass screen protectors, a squeegee, and an installation packet. So the first thing we need to do again is to clean off our screen thoroughly with the alcohol wipe. Then we'll dry it off. You need to remove any dust with the dust sticker. Then we'll take one of our screen protectors, making sure that the top signifier here is going towards the camera on your phone. We'll remove the back sticker from underneath the, the screen protector right here. Just peel that off. Then just place this whole thing over the top of your phone. And then slide your finger up the middle. We'll wait 30 seconds. Then hold down on the guide and we're going to peel up the sticker here. Just like that. Then we'll lift up on the guide. And there is a re-register fingerprint on here. So if you've already registered your fingerprint on your phone, you're going to want to do it again because most likely your fingerprint is not going to work now because we have a tempered glass screen protector. So then just peel this, the top protector off. And it looks like we do have some bubbles on the screen here, as you can see. So we'll just kind of squeegee those out. And of course, it looks like I got a little piece of dust underneath the screen right there. That's not a bubble. So it's not the screen protector's fault. It's just mine. <laughs> but the screen protector looks really nice. It is a full coverage screen protector, so it does cover your front camera. It does also seem to have a gap all the way around the phone for case compatibility. As far as touch, super smooth. Just like the glass that's on the phone, the edges are also rounded off. As far as fingerprint rejection, seems to do a pretty good job at, at rejecting fingerprints. I don't really see any smudges at all. 
So just as a test, before I re-register my fingerprints, I just want to see if my fingerprints will still work. And they do seem to kind of still work. Yeah. So your fingerprints might still work, but I would still recommend re-registering them just in case. So I'm going to do that right now. So it seemed to register my fingerprints pretty easily, so now let's test it out. And just to show you, I do not have my face unlock set up, so it's not going to be detecting my face. Now one other thing I will tell you is if you're still having problems with your fingerprints, you're going to want to go into your display and settings under here. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to go to touch sensitivity and turn on screen protector mode. That'll increase the sensitivity for the screen protector, so your fingerprints should work a lot better. So let's test those out. Working there. Working there. Yeah, fingerprints are working perfectly fine after re-registering. So, as you can see, the screen looks crystal clear. Touch working perfectly fine, nice and quick. Very nice. So now let's take a look at the screen as if we were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. So as you can see, there's just an ever so slight rainbow effect. <laughs> That's pretty bad, but that's looking at it from the side. If you're looking at the screen dead on, this is pretty much what you're going to see. It's crystal clear. You're only going to see those slight rainbows when you start twisting and turning and looking at the phone from different angles. So definitely not bad at all. So now let's test out our case compatibility. I've got a Spigen case here. And it seems to fit perfectly inside this case. There's only a gap at the top for the speaker, and everywhere else around the screen, it's pretty much right up next to the case. So at least we know that it's case-friendly with Spigen, and it should be compatible with other cases as well, but the only way to really know is to test it out with your case. And then for the rear camera protector, as you can see, it fits perfectly with inside the Spigen case too. Very nice. So everything is looking great so far. Now let's move on to the scratch and the drop test. We're going to start off the test by dropping a 2.4 ounce steel metal ball at a starting height of 2 feet. If the screen protector doesn't crack, we'll move it up foot by foot until it eventually does. So here we go at 2 feet. Moving on to 3 feet. three feet. So this screen protector lasted up until a three foot drop. Now let's move on to the scratch test. So typically tempered glass starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number six. So we're going to start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally a number seven. So if we take a closer look, you can see that there are no scratches at the number five. There are slight at a number six and just a little deeper at a number seven. So scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. Now let's move on to the rear camera protector. So again, we're going to start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally, number seven. And if we take a closer look, you can see again, there are no scratches at the number five. There are ever so slight at the number six and deeper at a number seven. So again, scratch resistance is standard for tempered glass. So installation for both these screen protectors were really easy. It also does seem to be case friendly. It lasted up until a three foot drop and scratch resistance seems to be pretty standard for tempered glass. So I'm definitely pleased with the rear camera protector. As far as the front screen protector, I definitely think it could have done a little better for the drop test, but it's still going to protect your screen. All that means is it's going to take a lot less to crack this screen, and then you're going to have to replace it, but you do get a two-pack for the screen protector. And I'm curious to know what you guys think. Which one of these screen protectors will you be picking one up and why? Let me know in the comments below. 
And again, if you guys do want to pick these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.